Hello, what's up my beautiful souls? How have you been? Rose Tan here. I hope you guys have been doing amazing. Today's reading will be what your upcoming year ahead, 2024. Boy, that sounds overwhelming, but it can be exciting for what I'm about to reveal here in your readings here, in your pick a card reading for 2024. For those who are new to pick a card, you just simply use your intuition, whatever you are drawn to, and then pick pile one, two, or three. Or sometimes when I do a pick a card, I can actually be sometimes being drawn to two or even three and just pick what resonates and what not, okay? Because this is a general reading, but however, my guides and I will try to keep it as detailed and specific as possible. Okay, let's get into it. What is to be revealed? Are you going to achieve those goals that you've actually wanted? Is it your love life? Is it something that you and your partner don't see eye to eye? Is, is there something that you are butting heads or challenged for open heart to heart communication? Is that going to be improved? Career, opportunities, new work. Oh my God, there is so much abundance and prosperity for some of you. It is going to be so exciting this 2024 and I can't wait to spill the beans. For those single ladies and single fellas, don't be discouraged for what I'm going to share. Did someone call you intense? Did someone say that you were too emotional, that you were too sensitive? Come on. Did they call you weird? Wouldn't you feel that being weird is a lot more better than being like the rest of them with the majority? Mm -mm. It is boring. Why would you want to shape shift yourself into be part of the majority, part of the norm? Just feel the love within you grows because you have so much to offer and don't be that tall poppy syndrome where they try to tear you down. It is like a red helium balloon floating upwards, going somewhere, right? And they are there trying to yank that string down. It is not a good vibe. Do not tolerate that. Awakenings. Who's breaking bad here? Someone's actually breaking free from their lives to create and shift into a new altered reality, into a new identity shift. Awakenings. Who is breaking bad here? Who's taking a road trip away from the daily norm and to shift into their new identity and their new set of beliefs? And lastly, what and who should you be walking away? What brings value into your life and who no longer adds meaning and purpose? Should you let them go? Should you be shedding that skin, those layers? Bear in mind, this is a general personal reading, but my guides and I will try to keep it as detailed as possible, but use your inner compass, use what resonates and leave behind what not resonates, okay? So although this is a 2024 year prediction, sometimes times can overlap or overlay, if I said that right, because time is fluid with spirits. So all you gotta do is just pick pile group one or group two or group three and the timestamps are on the description box there it will take you straight to your reading and i hope you enjoy 2024 i'll see you in the readings for those of you who decide to stick around and um, for me to share some of the points that i have discovered during the reading were the intense people and that can sound overwhelming and kind of strong. The, the expression may sound strong, but there's a reason why, you know, we're not part of, part of the majority and that can actually label us as intense. And especially when it comes to the dating life, please, please, please do not feel discouraged. For me here, I decided to take a couple of years to not date at all and I just went solo dating. That's right, I date my own 
itself and it was nourishing it was nurturing it was loving and i understood what it is that i needed i needed to rely on myself but not entirely all on my own there are times when i would seek help and support and encouragement from others such as friends or family but you know i would always try to be that self-independent uh, you know self-care type i practiced that a, a, a I practiced that so much to the point where I knew exactly what it is and who it is that I would like to attract into my life. Solo dating, yes, it can sound a little bit um, scary and a little bit taboo, you know, because you're sitting at a restaurant or a cafe on your own, enjoying your own meal or drink, and, and, th and then <laughs> you kind of like feel like, is she okay? Is she a loner, you know? But you know what? That is so therapeutic and healing. And I feel for some of you can relate to what I'm actually putting out here because when we solo date, we understand what our needs are. We understand who we are as a person. And we grow and heal the inner wounded child or whatever he or she the inner child, whatever he and she felt like she was deprived on when she was that little child and to fill up that cup when you when your cup of love is full and overflowing then you are able to give and what I've actually um, a great metaphor here from the the worldwide known um, hip, hypnotherapist Marissa Pierce oh my god she's Marissa Pierce <laughs> and you know look she uses this metaphor all the time, which I just fell in love. And it's part of her tools as a way to help people, you know, bring out the best in, in bring out the best in them out. Which is when we breathe out, that's giving love. And when we breathe in, we give ourselves the love that we need. Self-nourishment, right? We've got to keep that in balance, in check check in with ourselves from time to time it is so vital and so pivotal where we feel that we need to be our own best friends we need to self-rely on ourselves and hear what our inner voice is telling us because that can actually that is kind of like our inner compass it is our northern star it can direct us to where it is that we need to go in life and also how we're going to set our intention for the day to day so just getting back to that point from Marissa Peer, it is the part where she actually says, when we breathe out, when we exhale and exhale and exhale, that's giving, 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 giving. And but to, to the point where kind of like we're out of breath, we have no more to give. And that's when couples find that Couples argue or people don't see eye to eye because they're overgiving. They're either people pleasers, they're over worried, they overthink about what how are people are perceiving them. Don't fall into that. That is such old school thinking days now. Oh my God, the modern day now. We are so um, hyped and so, um, you know, our fingertips are just press a button and there's information there there is knowledge there's wisdoms from others and that we can actually soak up whatever it is that we wanted to, to take in that is valuable to our lives so you know become resourceful and don't fall into the trap of being victimized or self-pity because that you're just going to fall into a trap of feeling unworthy unloved you know insignificant insignificant even and that's when I, I just see I'm just you know I do a lot of readings and most of my clients calls are mostly about how do I get my partner how do I get my girlfriend or or my husband or my wife to communicate with me more it all starts with communication and when we communicate at such a loving healing place from our heart space to open up and just shelve whatever our fears and worries are 
just shelf it for the moment time and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's when the two of you can bond and see that oh my god there is so much more potential we have so much to explore in this beautiful dynamic that we've actually created we have this foundation now we've got to solidify that with exchanging what it is that brings us love joy and fulfillment and everyone's love language is different it's it's unique you know and i found out that um recently this is for my two beautiful boys <laughs> their love language is completely different and i felt like oh my, okay so how do i adjust how do i actually wear so many mamas hat to adapt and be flexible to what their needs are at that moment in time it's just it can be it can be full on so i know for us mothers out there especially the single mums oh my god i feel for you it can be so so hard and it can be feel like the light at the end of a tunnel is literally virtually impossible to reach but it's not you just gotta hang on tight there there will be a time we're going to have that moment of awakening and realization that you just had one of those bad days, bad weeks, but oh my God, I just wanted to share this, that on my, on my personal dark days and lowest down days, oh my God, <laughs> just bring, bring it back there. I learnt the way of actually overcoming that during those dark moments and those dark days. I learnt to appreciate and hold so much gratitude and being thankful in the moment that this is going to help me it's just in, in it's just in preparation i was in preparation to be a lot more stronger so that that so that when this happens again i know how to deal with it and that's all it is you've got to appreciate and acknowledge why you are feeling down check in with yourself and i use this wonderful app um i forgot what it's called <laughs> but it's just absolutely amazing and i feel feel like it keeps me accountable for the days that i need to show up for myself i'm getting really excited it's just bad <laughs> um so yes i just felt like i just needed to share that I know, you know, um, 2023 may have been rough for some of us. I know it has been for me, but I felt like to end this year, 2023, I just know that each year and each day, you know, each segment of my life, including your life here, you just got to hold on tight and love and appreciate every moment and see the silver lining behind it all because everything is a blessing in disguise when you learn to appreciate that that is when you're going to attract so much rays of abundance and prosperity and love and fulfillment and joy in bountiful in abundance flow and it's just you know it's <laughs> you you feel when when you live in a um graceful grateful state of love and appreciation nothing wears you down because you've learned the art of gratitude and it feels good it's like the universe just carries you <laughs> it's like grace has entered the building you know <laughs> so anyways my beautiful darlings thank you for uh, hearing me out and i hope this is actually uh you know you know some a, a little bit of tips and um advice and suggestions for you to actually try on because or you know you just got to work out what your days mean by setting intentions in the day in the mornings especially how do you see your life going and it all starts from our imagination and our thought and what we focus on what how much energy we're going to give and um yeah okay up, up until next time let's get straight into the reading i shall see you there hello what's up my beautifuls how's it going okay this is the reading for today we have group one with the smoky quartz group two with rose quartz and the beautiful amethyst just take your time meditate on what it is that you are drawn to group one two or three but it also depends on what it is that you feel intu intuitively guided to you can pick up to two or even all cards remember 
what resonates relates to you and what not okay so just go ahead give yourself you can pause and take a moment to yourself welcome group one for those of you who have chosen group number one which is the beautiful lovely smoky quartz one of my all-time favorite it is so grounding and healing it soothes and it just clears whatever it is that's been harboring and festering in you right it just feels so so calming and soothing i feel like it just cleanses and clears the energy to keep you grounded and balanced and center you know to find that inner stillness and that peace of mind that you want so group number one i can't wait let's get into your 2024 year prediction all right my lovelies this one seems to be sticky and i don't mean the deck of cards being all stuck together but boy this um there's some energy that is reluctant or resistant <laughs> Oh, there's some stagnation energies here. Oh, my dear. What's going on? Let's take a look. Oh, that's too mad. Too many, too many, too many. Come on, spirit. Come on. There must be something here. They can't be that stuck. There's always a way out. Oh, there you go. All right. So first up, we've got meditation. For meditation, this says a lot. You know, even before when I was just trying to shuffle, get the first card out, goodness, Spirit and my guys were showing me that, you know, some of you, possibly all, all of you who uh, have chosen this pile here, needs to meditate because when we are looking for answers, for instance, from the outside, outwardly, rather than internal, internally, you know, we're not going to be grounded. This is why you chose this stone. This is why you are so drawn to this healing vibration of this stone. I mean, crystal, I'll, I'll call it crystal, it's more fancier. <laughs> and um, look, number three to to me, since I'm a life path three, and I won't get into life paths and all, all that. But in general, what I'm trying to try to describe here is that three represents in search. What's your calling? What's your purpose? Like, what are you meant to have intentions in your in your mind so that you can create what it is that you set out to do for your day to day to day and i've just been shown in the next three months give or take here this may happen december right through to march okay because three really stands out to me here and i'm just seeing that some of you may need to take a break from what it is that's been keeping you kind of like full steam ahead burning both candles at the end and did, did i say that burning the candle at both ends um not giving yourself a break it's just too much and i'm just seeing there's a lot of labor work so some of you may have a kind of like intense hands-on physical you know type of work that requires your physical whole body to override it's overdoing itself but i'm also being shown are you also um working out too hard you know because <laughs> sure you want a brand new hot bod for the start of 2024 but you got to take it easy because you are you're you're overdoing it it's just the overwhelmness energy of overdoing things and you're burning yourself out and the last thing you want to do is 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 to shelf it or quit it and you know give up on yourself but these goals whatever you have on your thoughts here whatever you got written down try to journal it so that you can dump it out onto a piece of paper onto your book into your journal book so that you can have space to take on the new ideas or inspiration and that can actually help you to you know to pave way and maneuver yourself so that you can feel a lot more whole wholesome again right now all this sticky stagnation it's almost like 
you are so tired. It's like I see you waking up tired. Oh my goodness. And then you resort to either caffeine, you know, those you overdo it. I'm just saying is an overdose of caffeine, overdose of sugar, overeating, overindulging, and then you feel bad. I mean, look, this, this may relate to some, but you need rest. And this rest needs to consist of a lot of you guys resorting to trying out meditation. Please tr give it a try. It can just be a form of even walk. So long you actually have some sort of, you know, that that sense of daydreaming that can be a form and and a way for you to just to numb not, I wouldn't say numb but kind of like just to ease your thoughts so that you don't have to think about a million gazillion things all at one go because that can be very very intense all right let's keep on going so that was a lot coming from just one card after I couldn't <laughs> after my guys were were trying to say nope no card yet we're going to give you the energies of stagnation so <laughs> thank you spirit okay here's another one i'm just gonna put this one here okay so yeah 20 yeah so here you go 20 three months okay so modify that again please adjust um, be flexible in your routine, in your day-to-day. -day. Not everything needs to be all in one go. And I'm just being, I just heard the message came through as in, you know, some of you may have a goal that you're wanting to achieve by 2024 or during or at the end of 2024. But what's happening here is that you've got to be realistic and I'm not trying to burst anyone's bubbles here, but you need to be realistic with what you set your time frame out to be. Because if you're not going to be flexible, you're somehow stepping on the universal's toes. We don't want that. So what's what this is basically saying? So this is yeah okay. So what this is basically saying, enjoy the ride, whatever it is that you're, uh, that you are feeling so drawn to do and so um, motivated and, you know, set your compass in that trajectory to create and, you know, whatever it is that you are manifesting, please, 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 you need to be flexible, adjust and shift to what it is that you are guided towards. Listen to your body, listen to what your mind needs, your general well-being. It's so important, okay? Because we only get one body for our whole entire life. Look after it, but don't overdo things. Again, I'm just seeing this 2024 year for group one here is all about balance. Finding what it is that you find balance in your life. That can mean also work-life balance. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Even in a relationship, the, the most important vital priority that you need to do is to focus on the relationship you have with yourself. That's why this stone is so, you know, it's. I feel it actually chose you. It chose you. That's what they're saying. Okay, so I'm going to move on to another deck of cards and see what comes through for you guys. So that is your, so far, they're talking about balance, shifting, being flexible. Okay, look at this. Someone's getting their selfies all polished up. <laughs> Um, I don't mean to giggle there, but I, I just see a lot of fun times. Um, this could be your wing girl, wing man, whatever it is. It seems to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, you know, getting out into, into the dating world, into the dating scene. I feel it's going to be very exciting and enlightening at the same time. I'm, I'm feeling some of you may not wanting to... Um, date at, at all that's why <laughs> there was a stagnation early beginning of your reading this is just tr just trying to encourage you to don't give up you know um goodness number eight as well eight represents infinite energies um <laughs> it can also represents abundance of 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 love a windfall of love so you may be dating quite often here in the year 2024 group number one 
so interesting. So you're going to be uh, wooed here, you know, because you know you're going to receive a lot of um, <laughs> gifts here, which is really sweet. Lucky you. Oh my goodness. I hope I get wooed as well. <laughs> I hope this is my reading too. Okay, so uh, I don't normally usually do reverse, but um, I feel guided not to do that. Uh, during this time here. Okay, so we got deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, so I'm just um, drawn back to modify and meditation, balance, grounding. You're going to find yourself attracting a mix of suitors okay so some can be quite attractive someone can be your cup of tea what floats your boat and some can be uh yes you, you you may have some strong chemistry with this person here but just remember they're not all going to be the right potential match for long term so just watch out for that okay so we're getting into your love reading here pretty hardcore here which is what my guys trying to say there you go, you got attraction. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> my cards are just flying all over the place. Okay, let me just organize this to make it more presentable. Okay, so attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. They're just saying, enjoy the moment, just go with the flow, but just be mindful, keep a balance, okay? Keep a balance of your dating life, work life, and whatever ambition goals that you have here, because we don't wanting to go uh, throughout 2024 with having high expectations, okay? Because modify, if you have some self-pressure expectation that things need to go according to your plan, you're going to fall flat and you're going to end up to depressed oh, I hate to say that that word but that word came through and I was just very guided to say that some of you will or are susceptible to depression anxiety um, feeling unworthy feeling unloved whatever it is you know just be just just be mindful just keep a balance okay okay let's see This one all right you surrender to fear so what I just I did I scare some of you I am so sorry I don't mean to be dis discouraging I am all for encouraging but not discouraging <laughs> only if it's worth it okay now okay surrender to, to fear here uh, there's this man here with willful punch in the air but he's got the sun and the fire in the background let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward okay so just waltz with the fear as tony robbins always say okay waltz with the fear um, because when you find that you are resisting and going against your ego, your lower self, your fears, and remember guys, fear is just uh, the opposite of faith. It's a belief, okay? We, we focus on what it is that we're wanting to feel. And when we feel, it's, uh, it affects our emotions and we operate from our emotions, okay? So fear, just um, look, <laughs> fear and just look, I would actually say false ear. <laughs> Look, F, false ear. That's what I was just being drawn to share. Okay. Whenever you hear your, yourself saying, no, you can't do it. It's not worth it. No, it's false. Okay. Sometimes um, our thoughts can be very, very wrong because it's the fear, the fear that's coming through. Alrighty. Let's move along. we got for you what else is coming through but I just feel like your dating life seems to be gonna be very adventurous guys very adventurous it's gonna be very fruitful I'm gonna meet beautiful beautiful people because you are so beautiful yourselves so here we go we got um I hope you can see that Brothers of the Rose, sacred, masculine, honor, protection, support. Ooh, 
Ooh, this hits a lot of those feminine uh, divine energy here, guys. Oh, what can I say? Where do I begin? Um, <laughs> okay, so you're going to actually, I feel like there's a soulmate energy that just came through. You're going to either you going to meet your soulmate or that, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I left out the, for those who are the couples. This is pertaining to the couples mostly here. Uh, but also can also re also also relate to the singles, okay, the lads and the ladies. It's basically indicating that you're going to be very supported here by this sacred masculine honor protection support vibes here. So oh, that's so that is so loving. Like I'm feeling all this loving en energy here. It's really really sweet. It's very really, um, supportive very supportive i feel like you're going to meet your match whatever that can help you find that balance right the balance of you being either stagnant in feeling stuck in feeling overwhelmed into finding this soulmate of yours that you're going to feel so in balance right you're going to find work-life balance a lot more at ease you're going to reprioritize and be a lot more flexible that you know that your life isn't like a machine operated program device um okay so for those who are in a relationship you're going to feel a lot more deeper with each other and what I mean by there is bonding, you know, more date nights here, um, clearing or, you know, clarifying, getting into a heart to heart conversation of what can may have been harboring for so long that you that you kind of like swept it under the, the rug. Some of you slapped a bandaid over and pretended that nothing's wrong. Um, things will be clarified. OK, with date nights by putting your ego and the past hurts and wounds aside, have date nights. I know this is easy, easy said than done, but you still have the attraction here. You still have that romantic fire in each other between one another. Just ignite that, that, that flame. That's why you're going to feel a lot more protection with each, with each other, support and honoring and having this commitment to one another to keep it going, okay? Because it's worth holding on to and it's worth the time, all right? Some of you may actually have felt like you have lost that spark, you lost that romantic vibes between the two of you. It hasn't left, okay? It has not left. Okay, let me see what else comes through. There you go. Wait. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Wait. It's not yet time. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. That is interesting. So you see here how you're kind of like, well, some of you are like trying to, you know, push things, going against the divine timing. You're going to fall flat. You're going to feel like these two in energies here. These two energies of you feeling energy depleted, discouraged, and you feel like a failed, uh, so a, a failure, and you feel like unsuccessful at some stage. Just watch out for that. Just keep a track of what it is that you feel. I just feel like you journaling can help so much during this time, during 2024. That can help you so much. Uh, but this can also mean wait for the right timing when it comes to approaching your partner if there is any conflict. It'll, it'll, I mean, look, it can also pertain to dating as well. I feel like your dating is the right timing for 2024. But be selective. Be selective. Be choosy. But not to, to the point where you're overdoing it. But, but you know, keep it realistic and within your level of standard. Because um, everyone's so, so different and unique. Um, just 
be just keep a watchful thought of, about what it is that you feel what makes sense to you and what can actually add value into your life okay so here we have double mission light worker star seed serve the world by being you oh my god i'm feeling is this your purpose you know because look you've got this crystal my dear um oh my gosh yes double mission so gosh some of you must have you know multiple or few handfuls of side hustle gigs you gotta take it easy even i'm just actually just feeling your some of your energies here is very draining like you can't operate at this high frequency vibe for that long it's going to wear you thin um but i know you have so much to offer right but remember even a superman and superwoman needs to hang up her cape from time to time okay you're a light worker and star seed. Yeah, of course you are because you have so much to give to the world, okay? <laughs> Serve the world by being you. Being you, yes, but please keep it balanced. That's <laughs> so important. I just I just had to had to reiterate that because some of you may not get it. Um that's so important. I feel like that's something that you need to prioritize. Even write it, you know, have it an an affirmation mantra onto your phone screen. Um, your wallpaper screensaver that can help you to remind yourself that you've got to keep it balanced or else you're gonna wear and tear all right so here oh temperance balance harmony healing patience self-control moderation purpose peace come tranquility serenity what did i say guys i cannot make this up so basically uh look i've said it all i think you actually get the gist of what my guys are trying to say here um i'm just trying to that's just clarifying okay but i feel like your cup of love your cup of love needs to be refilled and this is the cup of love that you have for yourself i just wanted to clarify that okay Take a look what else comes through. I feel like this could be the final card. Oh, there you go. You've got eight of water. Oh, this one didn't want to stay. So we go. Raining cards here. <laughs> eight of water. Oh, this is nice. So eight of water. Hope you can still see that. So out of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So what this is saying is that you're finding purpose, you're finding your true wholesome self here with the searching of what it is that you're doing, whatever projects, side hustle and gigs, you're in search of what gives you meaning and purpose, what gives you that, um, you know, the excitement like a little teenage kid again well like a kid right you wake up in the morning it's like it's christmas every day it's almost like like that you're in search of something that gives you fulfillment and so much joy that it just like leaps you out of bed and it's like i don't want to go to sleep i've got too much to to do i've got too much to offer people need me i'm in high demands who i can see you very very busy quite successful here in your 2024 year here but um you know what yes people can rely and have demands on you for the services that you are providing or what you're offering um but this could be if, if it's new work yes you're going to have multiple offers all in one hit is what i've been shown here so whoever that is you're operating a high frequency wave keep that energy up because it's working well um but it says spiritual and emotional growth you're wanting something more challenging you're wanting something that has more you know intellect intellectual stimulation there but you're also wanting to be you know tapping into your spiritual self when you get back home i mean this could be the work that you do it can be quite therapeutic it can be in the healing uh, field whatever it is you want to find more meaning in what it is that you do whatever that you are building it's stacking and stacking i've just been showing like there's this gorgeous sandcastle that you've carved and it, it's so all much 
picture perfect <laughs> and what I yeah I, I was just been shown that since my eldest son here he's just a perfectionist little guy and he if, the, if there's anything that's a little bit off point or a little bit wrong or a little bit crooked he will rub up the whole thing and start to, to start the sketch from the beginning I mean that's how that is how dedicated and determined he is, which is so beautiful. I feel like that some of you are going through that as well. Just take it easy, okay? The first two cards here are so pivotal here. Major, major focus here. Please meditate, ground yourself, find that inner stillness, find that center so that you can be more wholehearted, okay? So that is what we have for you, group number one. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the 2024. Mwah. Bye. Hello, group number two. Hope you're doing well. For those who are drawn to this pile here, there is some loving vibes here. This is all about, I mean, look, Rose Quartz is all about the divine. Uh, couldn't you know, it could be the feminine energy here, but Rose Quartz represents love, nurturing, self-love, romance, you know, it's very, very nurturing and very, very healing as well. It's so, so sweet. It's very motherly at the same time. So let's get into your reading pile group number two. Okay. Okay, group number two, we have Page of Wands. And up here it says, adventure, excitement, fresh ideas, cheerfulness, and energetic fearlessness, discovery, young spirit, limitless potential, extrovert. Oh my God, Page of Wands. Couldn't this resonate to this crystal right here? That is so divine. <laughs> I love it. So whatever you, I'm, I'm feeling this is what you are trying to decipher, trying to figure out some of you here could be most that you're trying to figure out what's your jam, what's your vibe, like what's your flavor and what it is that you like and what you're actually trying to get rid of, what it is that you're trying to clear away in order to make room to replace for the new. And I'm feeling like you're very um, outspoken, so you're actually very confident with, with what it is that you are wanting to attract into your life. Because Page of Wands, come on, it's almost like you are... Sorry, that was my chair. Um, that would actually represent that you don't want to harbor or, you know, linger on or dwell on whatever that no longer serves and adds value whatever the purpose that you may be drawn to do to out, you know, to set your sales out and attract this. I'm just being shown is, is it money that you're trying to manifest, but it's almost like I'm going all over the place, but your energy <laughs> is really loud. It's like, you know clearly exactly what it is that you want and you're going to set yourselves in the harbor in that direction and you are full laser focus. It's almost like, it's scary. <laughs> You're so ambitious and so determined, so determined, but you are not that scary. Um, you're not that intense, but I would say that you're intense with the cheerfulness and that might, that may not make sense to some of you, but what I'm trying to, I'm trying to say, for example, when you're so excited, some people can take that to an offense. I mean, this has this actually happened to me so many times. I've been told that I'm too intense when I get too excited because I, you know, because you're so enthusiastic, you're so optimistic, you're so positive, and you're that. That's the time when you're beaming so bright, your light is so bright. It can scare off the moths. It's it's, it's like it burns the moths by by just you know, looking at your radiance because your your light becomes burning and and it, and it burns them. <laughs> God, I can't believe that just came through. But look, you got limitless potential. 
this is why your strength your inner power like your intuition is clearly she, like he she knows what it is that they they want so this is beautiful but i'm feeling this is related to your career here but um but this can also represent your business i'm just making sure that yeah it's still there so this is the business that you're trying to, I don't know, are you trying to create something with, with such a you know, bright set of eyes? You know, you feel like a clean slate even. This 2024 energy is going to give you so much oomph. That's what I'm picking up. So yeah, okay, let me just um, draw another card from this pile. I'm just feeling like my guy's wanting me to do one more from this deck. Okay. The High Priestess. Oh, wow. Look at you sitting on your throne, whoever this is. Intuition, mystery, sacred knowledge, divine feminine, inner knowing, subconscious, spirituality, high power, inner voice. What did I say? Look, are you going to be on TED Talk? <laughs> I won't be surprised. You know, some of you ladies there and some of you guys who are in tune and tapped in towards their feminine vibe. So en energy here, I feel like they are so intuitive, um, uh, sorry, uh, spiritually switched on, switch on to source, to whoever, their God, to whoever their God is, you know, the ancestral guidances, spirit animals, spirit totems, whatever you call it, your God, okay, I just feel like you are so guided and protected from them as well, oh my God, what did I say? <laughs> Surrender to your intuition, tune into your inner voice, be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you. Yes, yes, I am, amen. I love that. I love that energy so much because what this entails is that when you have that kind of like ick, um, kind of like, I'll just move this at the side, I'll just leave it here. When you have this glitch that you feel like icky about you know how to go within the inner voice the, the subconscious mind your your inner knowing that that's not good for you so you can change and shift that trajectory okay now we got surrender to obsessive thinking now i'll just read this out and see what resonates and i can interpret to what my guys are trying to say for you here group number two if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem so that was just clarifying what i just said there okay thank thank you spirit <laughs> that was easy um let's see what else we are drawn to here so this is your career, your business, you're finding more meaning and purpose into it here. But this could be like your life in general, you know, your life in general, your day to day. You're finding more ground. Oh, how can I say the ground on on the on the below of your feet i hope i'm making sense here <laughs> but you're going to feel more grounded this could be mother earth here that you just know you just gotta be in touch with you know go hug a tree <laughs> go touch a tree whatever it is just tap on the tree trunk and just know that it's going to heal and ground you that you're okay because a tree represents you know solid st um, stability you know wind rain it doesn't affect them okay but tsunamis can. <laughs> That's this natural disaster. But what I'm being guided to say is that tree has strong roots, okay? You have strong roots. Remember that strong roots that can interpret into your intuition as well, that inner voice, the inner knowing, your higher power, high priestess, okay? Abundance, oh wow. This can be abundance in all areas of your life love, relationship, career. Oh wow, this is looking really good. Group number two. You have a lot of abundance. You got so much happening here. I mean, look, I'm I'm trying to not keep it too compact in each of your each reading, but uh, group number two, you have a lot of vibes coming through. I mean, abundance. Look, she's pouring out so much um, good energy that can represent all areas of life here. <laughs> the cup is over full. It's like, 
what do you have to fear of group number two i don't say there's anything for you to fear of because you know what it is that you need to do because you are listening tuning into your inner compass the intuition has it all like the first answer that comes to your mind when you are in doubt or uncertain or unsure of intuition that when you ask your that question the first answer comes up that's your go-to there okay let go of control issues goodness okay so some of you may be resisting and kind of like doubting this intuition as well but i just don't feel like that's going to um last long i don't feel i feel like you're going to overcome that when you realize that you're of ob <laughs> obsessively thinking what your problems and issues are that you can't get over this challenge or hurdle or obstacles okay because you're abundant with so much resources network supportive people around you um you got let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so when you feel that you are overdoing things here okay at the beginning of 2024 is what i'm getting you're going to find yourself gradually pacing yourself throughout the year of 2024 here I'm, I'm seeing june or july for some of you that you're going to realize that i can't i can't keep at this rate of overdoing things um, of too much relying on myself i need abundance and of i need abundance of friends of or networking people that can help me to slightly shift my gears so i like so i can actually have more time to myself right that could be the balancing energy that i'm being drawn to say here natural natural represents getting yourself grounded okay giving yourself some time to yourself self-love some healing here okay because that's so healing that just went <laughs> to this card <laughs> i love that oh gosh oh, let's see what else comes through one more card from this pile i mean from this deck is what i've been drawn okay now oh, two then okay all right so here we have this could be the one and let your friends help you all right so dating I'm seeing wingman. Did I say that for pile number one as well? It can overlay slightly here with the energies. But, you know, look, this is a general reading. Please take what not and take what. Okay, I said that the other way around. Um, this could be the one. They're saying when you rely on yourself too much here, group number two, right? You're in your voice here. You're in, you're in your head like you're overly doing it in your head you're obsessively thinking let go and then you're kind of like oh can i just um somewhat emotional dump or trauma dump on this on this friend or on this potential lover or on my partner <laughs> they, they could be the emotional crutch that i need um yes that that can be helpful only if your friend or your partner can tolerate that okay but what i've been shown is that yes you can rely on your friend yes you can confide you can confide in the chosen person in your life that that you that you feel trustworthy of okay to talk and have that therapeutic talk with one another i feel that can be very healing because you're obsessively thinking within your own mind here it's going to drive you insane all right let's see what else i am drawn to so i'm seeing not so much with love at this moment let's see what's come through you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness face the your true north i love that that is so unique because group number two you are so unique you are so unique where it comes where, where where it says um look not everyone's going to pick up what what flavor you're trying to brew here what what you're trying to cook up because your flavor is a multi-faceted it's a multi-layer it's different look we're having this i ivory no pinkish purplish <laughs> pinkish purplish to this beautiful light sky blue here so you have this contrast but it kind of like makes people like not not flip but you give them kind of whiplash i think because you make people turn heads 
because of your level of power and I don't mean power in as in authority but your inner power it's, it's like you're so confident that you're you you speak up you speak up on what it is that you want and that you attract it in you bring it all in right you know how to manifest so much into your life i mean this this can be people in your life this can be material gains a new car is what i've been shown Ooh, that would be nice let's take a look um just know that w when when you speak up okay when you speak up i just feel like some of them some of the people will understand what it is that you're trying to say and let go let go of whatever that you're trying to i don't know are you trying to promote something you're trying to launch a product your services whatever it is um or how you sell yourself you know promote yourself during an interview for a new work or something not everyone's going to see what it is see what your capabilities and your potential is because you're very different you're very unique you're very I even say quirkiness and some people may not sit on that well okay let them be their loss okay their loss because who who wants to be like everyone <laughs> we don't want to be the same as everyone else because they're all taken <laughs> i don't know where i got that line from that was funny though be you you know okay so lead coaching oh this is nice so this is work life created um, look work and life here um are you going to get a mentor are you seeking a, a mentor it says develop the best way to work with clients create programs packages and products that help them solve their problems so you're going to be masterful you're going to be, you're going to be a master in whatever field or industry that you're that you're um, attracting into your career or business here or your job um oh, there's so much to say here for you um goodness there's a lot I don't know where to begin. I just feel like you're going to have such an abundance of network, as I said earlier. You're going to have a lot of people in your field of work and it's going to help you become that leader. You're going to become master in whatever that it is that you're trying to do. So are you going to coach people? Are you going to inspire them? Are you going to motivate them? Are you going to heal them? Uh, there's a lot of strong um, masculine energy as well. But remember, masculine and the divine feminine, it can balance out with this, okay? I feel that's why group number two has chosen this pile. That's the um, rose quartz crystal for a reason because you're wanting that, um, that balance here as well. The balance of not overdoing and over relying on yourself because it's too much. It's just too much because you have your friends here you have your partner whoever you whoever you, you you confide in okay because look every shrink every coach every mentor needs one of them right they every coach needs their own coach basically is what i'm trying to say okay you can't do everything on on your own or else you're going to be burnt out okay because you're going to be like let go control issues like oh but then you're like oh no it's like ugh. Too much, too much going on. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that's not what I meant. All right, let's see. Let's see what else comes through. Um, guys, let's pick up two more cards, and that should be enough, I think. Let's see. Anything for love, spirit? Anything for love for group number two? Group number two. Group number two. Let's see what we have. Okay, this one doesn't want to come out. All right, I'm just going to put this deck of cards away. I'm going to go back to this one. Oh, this one actually. You, your energy is so, so strong. It's like, uh, it's overpowering here. I don't know where to begin. There's so many directions that you can go. I'm seeing so much abundance of opportunity, doors opening up. 
you know, and then I see you kind of like walking through the pillars here, a hallway through a pillars representing doors, opportunities of abundance, just overflowing money. You know, this could be promotions. This could be launching a successful product and services. It can go far. It can go far because you're online here and on, online these days makes the world seems so small, doesn't it? Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, you got strength here. Um, look, I'm feeling that you have a lot of, look, as you have a lot to give, you have a lot to give to yourself, okay? Self-love here. Great inner strength. Relish harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So, what this is saying, group number two, you're not for everyone. Okay, all right. So, here. So, when, what I've been showing here, when you launch a product or service, and the person does not pick up what you're putting out let it go it's not for them move on it's like one door closes right what do you think the next door opens keep going because that just listen to that intuition okay the intuition will not make you overthink and that's your greatest strength here I feel your intuition can guide you through this self-love and trust that you have for yourself because, you know, you're going to release whatever that does not serve or add value or meaning into your life. This, you know, I'm just picking up. This is very general here because you're going to be forgiving for those who do not pick up on what you're trying to sell, promote, or what you're trying to attract, okay? Let them go. They're not the right people in your world and then you're going to find yourself being so compassionate with yourself you're going to forgive them and then i see them i see them coming back to you once you find that compassion for them that they weren't either ready for what you were trying to be of service for for them you know they they clearly may not be be ready they may not have the money so, I mean, look, the last thing that you want is an unpaying client and they give you drips and drops. It's like, forget it, you know, you, you don't want that. <laughs> it's not a great feeling. And I feel like you're kind of like overcoming that because you're releasing these harsh judgments about, I have to have this, you know, I have to have this promotion as according to plan or else I'm going to be I'm going, I'm, I'm going to fail. I'm going to be unsuccessful. People is going to judge me. But no, come back to your roots. Confide in your person. I mean, look, this, this can be um, you go and see therapy. And I would actually encourage that. Everyone needs a therapist from time to time. A counselor um, if you can't find the time to meditate. But this is why journaling is so helpful at the same time. Uh, it can release and you know bring up um, you know covered uh, unhealed wounds from yay years ago it, it can fester it can manifest f further so, so that this is why um, yes go seek professional advice if you feel like this is still in the way okay if it's still in the way please let it go so there's not much love here for group number two so this could be a very self-love for you this message for 2024 you're all about self-love i don't see much of you um dating quite often i do see you dating but it's not going to be on your focus in 2024 and that's good because you need to date your, yourself I feel this could be you dating yourself here. This could be the one. It's like you talking to yourself, right? Everyone has an executive meeting with themselves from time to time. I know I do. I hope you do as well. That's the message there. For you to be, um, you know, not overly relying on, on, on yourself, okay? Because that can be very draining. I hope this catches in here. All right, so here we've got the octopus and hummingbird. This is so, oh, this is so cute. All right, so um, I do apologize that your reading didn't come out much with uh, new love or, you know, romance. 
with your partner there's not there's not much but there was that little thing there but i feel like you're going to focus on yourself mostly okay the self-love you're going to date yourself going out on solo dates very very normal i think it's very modern now and it's so healing it is so nurturing and self-giving because i think everyone needs to date themselves so that they know what it is that or who it is it that they want to attract in their life so self-healing before you actually attract you don't want to attract a toxic negative narcissistic people into your life okay so back to octopus this is you You've got multi hands you're doing multiple tasks at the same time multitasking it is um quite exhausting okay but you have that capacity as well i see you having the time because you prioritize that um just keep a mindful here keep you know have in in your thoughts from time to time that yes you can get so many things at the same time done but this i just feel like a hummingbird for me hummingbird draws out the energy of you just smelling the roses or just kind of kind of like you're you are hovering around something beauty like for this instant for this beautiful bunch of both bouquet flowers that i'm being drawn to here and this rose quartz they're so so same um same shade it's really really delicate and it's like it's saying as you go on about your stressful daily chaotic um dramatic life here okay by most i'm sorry <laughs> as you become so what i say as you're so multitasking here you know that's just it's it's just saying you gotta stop and smell the roses you gotta stop and just hum hum to this favorite music piece of yours that you just feel like you need to feel you know get some downtime happening you don't want to overdo things okay so that is your reading i hope that was inspiring and i wish you, you all the best in 2024 and i'll see you then love you bye hello group number three welcome to your year 2024 prediction for those of you who have chosen pile group number three we have the gorgeous amethyst Amethyst is so healing. It is an all-rounder, cleansing, clearing, bouncing, harmonizing. It can uh, protect you. It's great for sleeping. It's great for healing. It's just, it's multi-layered facet. It's just, I've, <laughs> a lot of people rely on this kind of like an amulet when you want seeing some, even guidance, do direction, um, healing, protection, so much so much you can do with this crystal all right so let's get into our reading Right, group number three. This is your 2024 prediction. Here we got oh, we got this the same card as um, group number two. Here, you're not for everyone. <laughs> you are such a unique bunch here. Uh, group number three. Um, I just feel like you're tired of the mundane. You're tired of the norm um, because this is kind of like telling me. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you're tired of the same boring flavor you, you're tired of it's, it's almost like you're outgrown the people in your com, in your community um look it can be school it can can be work i see like you are a fish that's outgrown its pond you are ready to dive in deep with the sharks in the deep blue sea look star family you're part of a team of souls call in support man Group number three, you're giving me goosebumps here. You're wanting to jump in both feet into the unknown, into the uncertainty. Wow, you are so brave. I love this. 
um, this is giving me goosebumps and chills um, because you have so much going on. You have so much to, to do where I, I, where I feel your time is so booked up and people are going to wanting to um, find out what it is that you are doing that's creating the shifts. Uh, like are you a shape shifter it's like you adjust to you adjust accordingly to to the environment but you've grown tired of adapting you tired of blending in this is where i see you kind of like breaking bad here <laughs> this this is so spiritual spiritual because look at this i'm i'm stumbling all over my words i'm just sounding like i'm gibberishing because there's so much going through now coming through the downlights from my guys is absolutely insane. Look at this, all purple, and purple is the highest spiritual color. Oh my God, um, this is crazy. Okay, so you're going to be very heavily into meditation, journaling, scribing, you know, lighting a candle, incense stick. I just see you going through, um, going to group meditations, meeting your own tribe, your own tribal family, and it's going to be very, very healing, very therapeutic. Um, you're going to go to different places. I'm seeing hiking, camping out in the out in the bushes, wherever that is. This is great, crazy, crazy, cray cray. <laughs> Lost for words. Um, let's see. So you got uh, seek seclusion. What did I say? <laughs> You're going to go out in the outback, out in the mountains, out in the riverside, the lakeside, somewhere that's so secluded because you're tired of the city life. It's almost like you want you you wanting to do this getaway. It's like you're jumping on this camper van hired. At, out of such a spontaneity and you're going to dip your hands dip your feet your bare feet into muddy lakes oh my god this is so funny it's like you really really want to get down down and dirty with mother earth <laughs> i love this this is crazy your energy is insane group number three. Oh my gosh no wonder no wonder you are the last pile of this reading here Okay, look at that. After the rain, silver lining, relief, hope, mercy. It's over. Acceptance. Oh my God! What a, this is your this is your breakthrough, right? So as you actually go through this healing journey of, so it's almost like you're allowing, and you actually you actually activate the serpent on the base of your spine to awaken group number three you are crazy i'm shaking here because after you actually cleanse yourself and get in touch dip your toes into muddy waters here you're going to feel the rain it doesn't necessarily have to be rain right but this is metaphorically as well but it can be actually practical like like <laughs> It can actually rain on you, but it's cleansing you. It's like a shower from Mother Earth, okay? Um, it's, it's like you've awoken. Some of you may feel like you have not awoken for so long and you feel like this is my time to shine, but in such a humble way, such a humble, beautiful, healing way because it's almost like your self-acceptance. You are, you are seeing the silver lining behind all those adversities, challenges, obstacles, struggles, trauma, depression, pain, conflicts, whatever it is, even legalities. Oh, have some of you went through some law, um, sorry, some legal battles? Oh, I'm seeing some, uh, oh. Well, some of you like divorce? Are, are you going through like a midlife crisis or something? Group number three? Oh goodness, this can be very healing. It's like you're trying to like breaking bad out of the mundane world. You know, you're wanting to seek love here, love for for yourself. Oh my God, you got ancestors right by you all this time. These could, pardon me, these could be your ancestral guidances, the grandmothers. Remember your roots, perspective, trust the weavings. Oh my God, this is so healing. Oh, I love this reading so much for you, group number three. Whatever you are doing, please, please, please. Whatever signs and messages that's coming through, like if you see, I'm just being drawn here out the window, there's this white bird, like a dove, flown straight past here. And I just had to share that. That can be a sign that your ancestors are trying to send you a message or are trying to get your attention to what it is that you are thinking and focusing that you are manifesting at that particular moment okay those are your grandmothers or your um 
many grandmothers there okay these are ancestors from either your parents side either side okay so you're very switch and tuned in with with source here with your god universal powers you've activated yourself oh wow you've done some kundalini work perhaps you know some shakti pie is what i've been shown even some of you actually being um it isn't rec recently or you're going to go through this okay because time is fluid okay and um are, are you going through doing one of, one of those um oh god i've lost for words <laughs> i'll write it in the description box when i remember but it's one of those retreats when you go out in the mountains or bushes and you do some healing cleansing with a group with a shaman and they get you kind of like throw up oh, you know what it is that that i mean okay so i see you kind of going to do that surrender to play i see you very spontaneous i see you kind of like opening up to the unknown the uncertainty all right because you're trying to find your own tribal here you're trying you're trying to find your own world here a new world because you are so sick and mundane of the old okay it says take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation yep out in the outback again i see you hiring an airbnb cabin somewhere in the woods here and you're going to love meditating you're going to love getting in touch with mother earth um i see you hugging a tree perhaps whatever it is you're going to feel very very divinely guided to heal and nurture yourself again you got many many wounds here group number three but you are so strong you know the god and the universe will not give you a life that you aren't capable of handling okay just remember that silver lining where is it silver lining there you go okay relief hope mercy <laughs> be merciful to yourself stop blaming yourself some of you is what i've been shown Surrender to the beauty of natural world. Oh my God, can this be any more like grounding vibes here? Group number three, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. <laughs> now, why am I being shown to mention Bigfoot? I don't know that my son's been watching this Bigfoot movie and it, it's very outdoorsy, okay? So you just Im imagine Bigfoot bare feet walking along the muddy path <laughs> climbing trees whatever okay that's you that's what i see you do in 2024 a lot <laughs> most of the most of the time there this is so healing all right let's move on let's see what you got here oh, inner peace wow look at you journaling i am enough packing your lunch you're gonna have a picnic here but i'm seeing you aren't always by yourself here okay as you actually in this bubble of yours here you're never alone because look some of you may feel going out in the woods is very very scary yes it can be very bold and courageous but it is so enriching so enriching for your soul and your spirit you need that you need to get away from all these people that are so bland it's like why would you only want to eat vanilla boring try different flavors my lovelies please that's what they're saying so cultivate inner stillness inner peace never know uh, just never feel that you are really really alone okay because you're always with spirit but i also feel that some of you may go out in a group perhaps all right but most of you the majority of this reading i feel most of you will be secluded to yourselves all right so here let me just put this card you got self-respect wow as you come back to the real world I don't know, look for work. I feel like some of you are going to quit and leave your work here and come back with a fresh start. Um, I mean, look, this can happen early beginning of 2024 or possibly 28th of January, 28th of February even. Depends on how long you're going to, you know, go on this road trip 
on yourself. When you come back toward the, towards the mundane, busy, um, 3D, blue peel world, okay? Just remember the rays. The rays of your star family soul is still supporting you. Call in support. You're part of a team of souls. Call in support. There's that light on you while you make your journey back to the crazy world. Okay? The crazy world can represent the harsh world, harsh reality, but you know, we can't always run away from reality. We need to adapt, but just know that you're not alone. You're not alone. You're never alone. Seek the inner guidance there, please. All right. Let's see what else we got here for you. Let's see what comes through. Oh, this card went flying off to the floor. Just got to pick it up. Oh, goodness. Really? <laughs> look. Look, look, look. Group number three. Spirit of place. Again, look at that. Tree trunk. Green. Um just mother earth mother nature uh, it's really screaming out like you really need to get out in the woods and be bigfoot <laughs> be bigfoot okay let's see so that's just clarifying what you're still going through spirit of place even though you're coming back to the world okay um oh wow there you go muse please journal uh, try to get back into Mother Earth. Some of you may actually move or you know live by the coast, live by the sea, the beach, which is gorgeous. Lucky you. And I see you having you know a cup of joe there or a nice even champagne even celebrating being you, finding this new identity shift. Take time away from the daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time in nature to muse. Create space for creativity and fresh ideas will flow. So I see some of you may be painting. Some of you may become an artist full time. But whatever it is, you're going to seek such, you're going to attract such abundance when it comes to the self-healing. And this kind of like inner flow of you feeling grounded, knowing that you are going to be safe. You're going to be loved. You're going to be nurtured. You're going to be cleansed. Uh, you know, um, oh, I almost got that. I almost got that word. You'll come. <laughs> it's at the back of my mind. It's just so annoying when you, you know, it's at the back of my head. <sighs> what is that? Mm. All right. All right, so please journal, empty your thoughts. I see you're going to do that a lot while you meditate. And sometimes I find like when I do meditation, and I feel like some of you can relate here, you have to stop your meditation just to journal or take notes. Because <laughs> I, I find like I will forget it after I complete the meditation because it's gnawing and nagging at me while I meditate towards the whole end or 20 minutes or so. And then I forget and it's like, what did I do? And then I think about what what should I cook my boys for dinner? To, 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 you know, it, it's it's just too much. <laughs> I just have to stop. I have to stop and just journal, just write it out. Empty your thoughts out onto paper. That's the best way. I find like that just remedies me and it calms me. Okay. Oh. Okay. Shark. Woo. All right. This is saying quite a lot. Um, don't be alarmed. I'm just picking up the shark energy represents, um, you know, not it, it, it not just only represents prey, but you, you know, you're the king. Well, you're kind of like action or orientated. You're not the king of the sea here because whales are because they're the the biggest, right? But they are the most ferocious ones. Um, I just feel like you're going to come back. Um, with so much, how can I say, determination or angst towards facing reality again. Um, please just be aware, okay? I don't want to end this reading with such negativity or discouragement here, group number three, but it's saying when you find yourself so angst in here, it's like you don't need to become the shark. You don't need to be bitey or snappy when things don't go your way. Just remember, you just come out from this healing, cleansing uh, life and you're coming back into reality. 
try not to just be mindful that you've got to you come back with a fresh pers perspective you don't want to lose that okay you don't want to unravel and undo all the necessary work and healing that you've done and i will have to say there will be leftover people um leftover people <laughs> People who you may have left behind or you may have, you know, closed the book on, you blacklisted perhaps. It's like you moving on, okay, because they no longer add value or meaning and purpose into your life because they were either narcissistic or they have actually hurt you to a, a degree. This could be the person that some of you, I feel like, are separating or broken up, okay? Um, I feel like they're trying to win you back here. They're trying to win you back because your light is so so radiant and so bright and so vibrant it's a it's addictive okay because when your light is so bright here as you actually work to regenerate regenerate your light it's like a battery charging itself from solar light right they're going to be attracted to that so just try to filter out weave ways because look you got trust the weavings um, but this, the weaving word jumps out when I say that you can filter out, weave your way, maneuver out, like swimming like a shark away from people who are trying to hurt you again or brings you back to your old self where you felt like you've actually closed that chapter. You're no longer that person. Okay, I just feel like some of you are kind of like uh, holding on to a certain aspect about yourself that's kind of like holding you back. But I feel like with so much support and energy and healing here, this inner peace, you're going to find so much solitude here. Okay, remember the muse, you are just finding, you are just finding that peace, that inner peace you're going to feel more rooted, okay? You're going to feel more secure as you come back to let go of this shark energy and you can just dish it out, okay? Just shake it off. I oh, don't want to shake it off for you, okay? So you just need to just keep on going, my beautiful. Don't let them take you down because I'm seeing like as you raise and lift your vibration up, it's very attractive. They're going to feel it from afar because energy is never local. They can sense it. They're going to try to attract you and win you back. Just know that you are going to continue to leave them behind. Once you awaken that sea serpent within yourself, there's, there's no going back. You are awoken. You left those energies back. You don't need them anymore. Okay? So I hope that was enlightening. Group number three, you are going to have a magnificent year ahead, 2024. Um, send you love, lots of love, light and blessings. And I'll see you in 2024. Bye, my beautifuls.